we empowered our voices by uniting our voices together. breakfast with like a few minutes um getting ready Maylene shot out of bed yep Hello. So wow. heading back back later um I'd rather just be in everybody else's room. but we're here and oh I want to be in here we are here oh. that's Mary Ellie <laughs> I like how you're backlighting me because you can't see my makeup so I'm like an angel I have this we knew that you are all my angels <laughs> We have made it here, and I didn't even have to put dry shampoo in my hair. <laughs> oh my gosh, this camera quality on this food, though. I invited her so much, but she never responded, so she probably thought it was We had a lot of fun last night with everybody, so we were just making every moment count, and we were out really, 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 really late. And... We missed yoga this morning, but it's okay because we will go tomorrow. Vlogging is different than standing in front of a group of people. Does that mean we vlog we're just standing in front of our camera? Yeah. We don't see the people that watch us. But good morning and welcome everyone. We are more than happy that you were able to make it. I'm thrilled that you're here and you are part of this experience. And I hope that it's not the end of this relationship that we all have with each other. So I'm looking forward to many, many more of these events. So make it happen. <laughs> So yesterday I was teaching in Philadelphia and this morning I was running on the beach out here, so that was kind of amazing. And then I keep waiting for someone to try to harvest my organs because I don't want to say it. That's a strategy. So uh, so I have to see you guys. And I haven't met you yet, I'm really looking forward to meeting you guys. Um, thank you for coming to you. Awesome. Here's the other one. You can only choose 10. We appreciate what you're doing and, and we really want to make sure that we are together, that we empower our voices by uniting our voices together and who knows what's going to come out of here. It's not going to be your organs, don't worry about it, <laughs> but that's how much or how, how you not used we are to getting appreciated, getting these kinds of um, treats. So this is the most important thing, is this, this is a big thank you to you for sharing everything you do every single day with our kids. That's the, the most important. And to this, to get, um, to bring you together, those hugs, uh, oh my God, I can't believe I'm seeing you in person. <laughs> that, that is magical. Um, I lived it. Thank you. 
just listened to Kim Bearden speak and I'm like speechless. Like there were so many times where I was like feeling it and crying. And like I was just sitting there like these are the thoughts that go through my head every day. And it just like all came to life and it was so real and it's amazing. And now she's right here and she's going to sign our books. So that is incredible. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's okay, it happens. Okay, so this trip is just so packed with like so much that we're so fast paced and I feel like I haven't given the proper explanation of what even is going on. Today is Saturday, it's our second day here, but really the main day of the conference and we have a bunch of different sessions today. Like I said earlier, Kim Bearden just spoke to us and that was incredible. Like. Amazing. <laughs> she, Amazing! She touched on so many different things and she's just such a great speaker because everything flowed and it all made sense and it was amazing. How does she even do that? I, Her speech? I don't know. That was incredible. It I really, didn't realize what was happening until it was happening and she was like, <laughs> this amazing speech just... <laughs> it just I happened. Um, so me and Maylene are getting... Uh, touched up a little bit because we had a quick start to our morning. Um, oh my. Yes. Get that dry shampoo. The true life the of a teacher. And we are going to head head to some sessions. I think Michelle Frey is speaking or something. I think oh, we're going to that. Session. Yeah, that one, that's the one that we need to go to right now. So like finish up and we'll head out. Oh, now you are on point. Now I want to do my foundation. Okay, Kim is calling. My weekends are, I usually try to spend one day where I'm like, I'm not touching anything school related. I'm not touching anything work related. Like I'm just, I'm going to go out and do whatever I need to get done. And then one of the two days over the weekend, like I'm grinding, I'm working on grad school work. I'm working on content. I'm working on products for teachers being teachers, like whatever it wants with like my students. And so um, the school that I work at now, really likes for their students and their teachers to have a positive social media presence. So hopefully like your schools have kind of progressed to that point where they understand that social media is a powerful tool and if somebody Googles you, you want positive things to come up or if somebody Googles your school, you want positive things to come up. So I would say that honestly, my school doesn't really understand YouTube. <laughs> really understand what I do. They're all on Twitter. I don't know about you guys, but like all I have been like things that Twitter is like this like <laughs> I don't even So um, but I, I definitely think that if you're once you bring it into your school or your classroom, if you're hiding anything from them, it's something will go wrong. So um the, the very first time that I got some footage in my classroom, I can hear I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, the one thing we didn't pack in our bags was sunglasses. Oh, I have sunglasses in my bag. I'm just not wearing them. Well, Maylene brought the whole backpack okay, today and she came prepared oh, to charge anyone's I brought all the chargers items because we're vloggers. <laughs> Uh, we are on a fun break right now. Just hanging out and looking at the view. And we were just, what did we decide it was called? Um, audience, growing your, growing your audience or growing your impact? Making impact with your audience. Really, it was just nice to be in there and just have that conversation. Yes, just have a conversation about what this is that we all do and how to go about it. It's hard to way. talk about the behind the scenes. Like mm -hmm. there's never a good time to talk about that. No one ever talks about that. So it's really okay. Yes. So, um, yeah, I don't know what we're doing, but I'm gonna show you the view because it's beautiful. Yeah, they give us sunglasses. Oh, good job fixing yourself. <laughs> but yes, I left them in the bag in the room though. Ooh, this heat. What do they look like? Thank you. I don't like them. Okay, so this is the pool that we're gonna go to tomorrow. Or today, I don't know. Oh, yes. I think we have a little bit of a break. Your flight tomorrow. Right. 
and the beach, living life, living our best life. I miss the cute. So beautiful. Oh my gosh, there's an orange on top. Oh, wait, oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Most amazing donuts. Ever for our oh fun break. My gosh. Oh, I stepped right in a puddle. <laughs> Here's the thing that is most needed. It's too Coffee. Hot. Well, put a lot of cream in it. <laughs> it's boiling hot. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> but it's Seattle's best. Uh, it's fine, and then afterwards, if you don't get a chance, like we'll be in the space. So if you want to ask questions or talk then too, if you have a private, like some of you do want to share a whole group, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <gasps> oh my goodness. Two sessions this morning. One from Latonia and Australia. I'm shaking, it's so beautiful. So we just got out of another session and it was really interesting and stuff that I've never thought about before. I didn't go to your session, but my- yeah. You were in there at the end. At the end, because our session finished early, oh, so, so we were like, were oh, you? CJ's talking. Uh, where were you? Right next door, we heard you guys laughing. We were talking about technology. I guess we were having a good time. We were talking about interesting things that I didn't know existed in the internet world. So, it was very cool. Very cool, with Cool Cat Teacher and CJ Reynolds. Yeah. Can I so, lunch time. So our salads have been dressed. I thought they told us they had to be pasteurized, <laughs> but they just said it has to be passed out. <laughs> Wait, is it really? No, I just heard wrong. And I guess we have. Are we assuming this is that's sweet why, tea, unsweet tea? And I love this tea. Taste test. That's fine with me. That's okay. I don't like sweet tea really. So it's perfect. Yes. It's so beautiful here. All right. So we're on our way to our games. We are Team Blue. Team Blue. Except Jazzy. Team Orange. Oh my goodness. Hey guys. Um, I just came back to the room because our tribal games is over. I like did not what was know what was happening going into that. I was kind of like really nervous because we had to sign a waiver and like I'm like what are we going to have to do? Um, but look I have a medal out of eight teams. My team came in third. <laughs> we did like just different it felt like field day, you know, but like with challenges, there was like a blindfold like challenge, there was um, digging to find as many Scrabble letters as you can and then make as many words as you can. There was like your typical like sports relay, there was like this pipe ball thing, um, just a bunch of different things like a Sudoku puzzle kind of deal. It was really fun. My team won every single challenge. We also had to make up a chant though, which I will post right here. Maylene recorded it for me. <laughs> We are the strikers, the mighty, mighty strikers. We are the strikers, the mighty, mighty strikers. We got judged on that, and we were like kind of one of the last teams to go, and we were the only team that got a seven out of ten. Ours wasn't bad though. And then Scrabble thing at the end, you got points for every letter you had and other teams just had so many letters and we only had six. So that held us back a little bit, but that's okay. It was really fun for like team building. And then with those people that we worked with, we kind of like were grouped together based on what our passions for teaching were. So we all came together because we talked about like engagement and uh, hands-on activities in the classroom um, so tomorrow we're gonna come back together with that group and make a plan for some things right now it is 4 30 and we have our formal gala tonight at 
we have to be down there at like 6.50 or something. So I'm going to jump in the shower and I will catch up with you guys later. Okay, so I'm finally finished being ready and so is Maylene <laughs> and we're here with everybody. And, well not everybody, but you know, just the best. <laughs> um, taking pictures Cute. in this amazing oh, scenery so nice. and Kim looks like a goddess. pictures amazing backdrops we found this place is just beautiful um, so now we're in the ballroom and we are about to get ready for dinner and some awards maybe I don't really know dancing yeah we're gonna enjoy our night good morning guys I know I didn't vlog much last night and that's because I was sitting at the dinner and I don't know what was wrong with me maybe I had like heat exhaustion because I was drinking water all day. I didn't eat much at breakfast and lunch, but like I ate food and after we got back from the beach, I was just lightheaded and nauseous and I took like my nausea medicine, but it didn't work and I was like sitting at dinner. I was like trying to eat some food because I'm like, I think it's because I haven't eaten a lot, but like anything I put in my mouth just made me like sick to my stomach and that of course caused me to go in anxiety mode and I'm sitting there listening to the superintendent of Miami schools speak and I'm like, I need to leave, I need to leave, I need to leave and that's, ugh. Never happened to me before, but I got up and left, came back to the room. I took my anxiety medicine and tried my best to fall asleep. And we're in the city. So, you know, there was sirens and horns and just crazy sounds all night. And so my brain was just like racing. And so I put on some baking competitions and I fell asleep to that. But I missed out on the whole ceremony and awards but I didn't win an award so it's okay that I wasn't there and the pajama party but I got a good night's rest and that's really all that matters because I feel like myself again today and I felt like I don't even know what yesterday like I don't know why people even wanted to hang out with me yesterday <sighs> So, it is currently 7 a.m. and we are getting ready for yoga or meditation or something on the beach. So let me show you what I'm wearing. Old Navy matching sports bra and leggings. I don't usually do this, but you know, I needed some new workout clothes. These are popular right now, so yeah. So we're gonna do that and then I think we're gonna meet back with our groups that we did the games with yesterday to like come up with like an education plan but today's our last day here so we'll see how it goes
We got the buffet spread for today. Ask me how excited I am. Good morning, everybody. Can we talk about how I just met Jen Jones and I am so excited to hear her speak today. Like, that is one of the main reasons I was beyond thrilled for this trip. She's wonderful and I can't wait to hear what she has to say. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So that's really, really fun. But yes, I am Hello Jen Jones on Instagram, and I do share daily on my stories, and I do try to post once a day during peak time on Instagram, and we'll talk a little bit about what that means in a minute. I will say, one of my trademark parts of my brand is saying what? All right, so we are finally having some downtime, relaxing by the pool, and the conference is over, and it's really sad, but we're still celebrating. Kate, Kim, Sheridan, and Laura. The fun is just getting started. So we're currently at Aventura Mall and we just went down this slide. It's four stories high. It's about four stories high. We decided and Maylene and Sheridan are about to come down. They're very pretty. I think. Oh yes, so there she is. Here. That's Maylene. Maybe not. Yeah, that sounds. Oh, oh. oh wait. Is that Sheridan? Woo. The, you got. <laughs> wow. Hey guys, I'm here to film an outro for this video. It is now exactly a week later and it's still surreal i can't even believe that this happened i'm sitting here editing this footage like wow genius plaza thank you so much for bringing me and my friends together giving us this opportunity to have some type of conference where we could come together and share what we love to do it was amazing like meeting face to face not only the girls that like i've looked up to but the ones who i've talked to for so long and like to realize that we're all real people and that we all like truly do get along and connect in this world and share ideas it was just unbelievable it was a dream I was clearly uncomfortable the whole time because me and a few other of the other girls talked about this too. Like we were in a place we've never been before, like being treated like pure royalty. Like the women who put on the conference were saying, teachers aren't used to this, but this is what teachers deserve. And that really touched my heart. There were so many times like when I was listening to just the speakers and just being surrounded by everyone where I was just like crying happy tears because it's like someone finally gets it. I just want you guys to know we're all not here to like put out these videos and try to like brag about our experience in any way. Like this was truly an experience that every teacher deserves and we just want to share it with you and a lot of you were commenting on my first part of the video saying that you were just smiling the whole time because of all the happiness and that's what I want you guys to feel I want you guys to feel like you were there with us because everyone deserved to be like it was incredible and I hate that my anxiety took over oh my goodness I don't even want to really like talk about it but I just know like that's what was wrong with me now like I didn't realize it in the moment but right after the conference was over I felt back to my normal self again like I didn't feel sick at all everything I was feeling all weekend was just gone and I felt normal and I'm like are you kidding me body why do you got to be like that but 
It was wonderful. I love all my friends. I am just hoping that this conference continues to grow. Next year, we are inviting more people. So I'm going to be on the lookout for teacher influencers on any social media that are just trying to make an impact and make a difference. The numbers don't matter, guys. Your followers don't matter. What matters is who you are and what you're doing with this platform that you have. I'm so inspired and filled with love and I wish I had more time with these girls, but, and guys, Darren, CJ, and to all the other amazing men that were there, like, it was just wonderful. So I hope you guys were able to experience it a little bit with me and all the other Miami vlogs that you are watching. If you haven't seen the other ones, I'm sure they're coming up on the side down below just because we all have different perspectives. So it's interesting to see. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you subscribe and stick around to see what is to come now on my channel since I've had this new awakening from this conference. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.